After each terrorist attack, politicians in the West suddenly turn to theologians. They start defending Islam rather than dealing with terrorism itself. These are some of their famous statements. This has nothing to do with Islam. Islam is a religion of peace. Those terrorists do not represent Muslims. ISIS is not Islamic, and so on. As a former Muslim, I'm shocked. And I cannot believe that the President of the United States, for example, is defending Islam. Is it the job of a president to defend a religion? Was he elected to be a decision maker or a theologian? Is his job to protect the United States or to defend a certain religion? How do politicians like Obama, Francois Hollande, or David Cameron know that Islam is a religion of peace? I wonder how much time did they spend reading the Quran and trying to understand it? Did they read the biography of Muhammad, for example? I can assure you, none of them did. But still, they give statements about Islam. These politicians should let Muslims, ex-Muslims, Muslim theologians, religion specialists, researchers, and professors define what Islam is and what it isn't. They should let them debate it, not end the debate for them. This is what politicians should do. They should focus on terrorism. They should call it what it is, Islamic terrorism. Those who carry it are Muslims. They do it for the sake of Islam, quoting Islamic texts. And the goal is to achieve a victory of Islam at the end. They are willing to die for that cause. And they believe that those who die doing terrorism are martyrs for the sake of Allah. And he rewards them for that. They do not hide their goals. It's everywhere in their videos and their statements. These politicians look as if they know the goals of terrorists better than the terrorists themselves. It's as if they are telling them, no, 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 no. You are not Muslims, even if you say so. And you are not doing it for Islam, even if you shed your blood in the sake of it. We know better than you. In fact, the president of the United States, Mr. Obama, takes the role of a mufti when he denies ISIS allegiance to Islam. It's like if he issued a fatwa against ISIS members. They are not Muslims. Even Al-Azhar in Egypt couldn't do that. Top Al-Azhar scholars couldn't say that ISIS members are not Muslims. But politicians like Mr. Obama did. They think they know Islam better than Al-Azhar scholars. This is too much. This is insane. Political correctness will destroy the West. We have to end it. This wave of terrorism is an Islamic terrorism. And Islam is responsible for it. If Muslims are upset, let them convince ISIS that they are not Muslims. Let them confront terrorists and debate them. We will not do their job. They should solve it among them. Until then, we will keep calling it what it is, Islamic terrorism, period.